reminder. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Let's go, son. The bell. And we are underway. Jamel Taylor wants to be Brian Castaño. Certainly not as powerful. One of the areas both fighters want to avoid. Going to establish the jab. There it is. To the trap as he's known as a good counter puncher as well. But wide sometimes to... to, to yeah, again, but Canelo you, loading up on that. Since his last two fights, uh, so, volume. And you know what, what he likes to slip and what he likes to counter the most is the jab. Yeah, so, yeah and recently Canelo just. Small punches. Smaller sample size because it's early, but the punches are getting yeah, yeah. much work in there himself. Against uh, Cotto's brother. Mm -hmm. younger jab, brother. Forced to back up again. Oh, lead left trouble. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a slow start. You know, he's too early. He, yeah, he's, he's getting those punches semi hard. We've had in the past, and I mean, really, sure. we've definitely seen a lot of uh, the oh, that was years ago. There's Charlo throwing the uppercut. He's had the most fights. This is his sixth of Canelo. Comes for the dicks. And Canelo has never been to Charlo. I mean, the way that Canelo. Professional fight has been a professional for me. And they were to keep Canelo off him despite throwing the jab side, jabbed straight punches, and Charlo's leg. It's too easy. The ability to well, change a fight on a dime. Here's Charlo now. And there's a right hand, but again, Canelo. There's the jab and the busy can be effective for him. We'll see if it, it can be. But there's single shots from Charlo. Yeah. He's got to throw more. He's got to continues to go to the body. Right. Stated earlier tonight, Canelo loves to attack Still you along, along the ropes, ropes, moving to his right, goes to the body with the left off, being muscled. Remember what happened to Calum Smith? Just suffered the biceps injury. You get the opportunity, you take it. Oh, it's it's letting his hands go. He's been hurt once. Back to him with the jab. Stay off those ropes as Charlo comes back with through three rounds all Canelo. And the left hook with those 40-ish punches. <laughs> Speed has not been on his way. And there's a sharp jab by Charlo. Arsenal and Canelo in this one. Notice is that he hits the shoulders a lot. Tony Char Canelo by Charlo. Canelo Alvarez told us the left hook of. Yeah, and just when Charlo was about to, you know, we tried to prove his a point. Here's a guy who has generational wealth. The big, nice right hand. You know, key number here is that. Charlo trying to fire off the jab, trying to get back. Point, not buckled under any of those power punches. He's a very good weapon, so he's, he's where it is exactly the way Jamel Charlo, which is to Talked about what he did to Callum mm -hmm. Smith. Yeah, and throughout the, the whole fight, uh, but, you know, it's easier said than done. It's, uh, well, Canelo told him left here in the fourth. And another Charlo's been down once against Charlie yeah. Bellamy. Yeah. Canelo's left. Here, can't, you know, a hard shot from Canelo to just. I mean, stop. Canelo still more pound for pound, one of the best fighters on the planet. The biggest against Bibble, where he landed only 10. Yeah, think yeah. about that. He's landed. He mentioned all of the accolades, all of the experience, and what Canelo's been through his last week. Left uppercut. And again, the lay. It's always characteristic of Canelo because we talk about him taking some time to figure it out. Weight class, like, remember what Charlo is attempting to do here. Yeah. Vintage form here early tonight. He might have really thrown Sergey Kovalev, what Charlo calls Canelo's best win. But Too easy. Again, Charlo not throwing the jab. He doesn't know where the punches are going. He, Canelo fakes the body and it hits him. And yet, Canelo continues to walk forward. him down and leading off with a left hook and you know he got the whole round so focus he ain't got nothing you see it right nine punches in the fifth but not oh, enough is getting that overhand right that goes around the guard of charlo oh, charlo i mean it, not yet, definitely no. not keeping canelo off of him he was always very good effective as well he's cutting off the ring well so i have uh, in the danger zone 59 55 at the halfway mark 
if there is fatigue by uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez later, but that's down the road. Fifty-four pound champion Jamel Charlo. Did give Charlo the fifth round. I thought he landed the more effective shots. It was a close round. But, but Jamel Charlo has, in other fights, had issues in earlier rounds. Into the head. Nice. It's getting there, but again, the, the, the point is they they finds himself on the ropes again. Sorry, most of the yeah. times he would just hook his way. <laughs> that right hand. Charlo down for the second time in his career. Taking a knee in the round, and that right hand has produced some violence in Canelo's career. Unfortunately, again, another right hand. in this round's actually kind of remarkable. And for Jamel Charlo, finds himself in the corner. Canelo unloading the Left hook behind the guard by Charlo. Ooh. Charlo lands another, but Canelo keeps walking Under forward. Ropes. Under 30 seconds left in this round. To recover from Charlo, really, because that was a hard right hand. Another seven. Another solid right hand. Come on. To kick off round number eight, and a right hand to the body by Canelo. Double jab. No signs. There is not, but that was a theory. Yeah, <laughs> because he's he's afraid of the counter yeah. punching. Yep, I agree. So so far, he's seen it. Now overhand right to develop any kind of rhythm from the smothering pressure of Canelo. Canelo uprooted and moved to the high altitude yeah. of yeah. some some hard yeah. shots from Canelo and taking them well. And yet it's not overwhelming volume here. Knock Canelo Alvarez out with a punch or with one punch, but and an uppercut from Canelo there it seemed like punch. enough to be winning a round. The two weight classes above yeah. the weight class that he normally fights. Fighters that keep uh, Canelo at, at reach, uh, entertained with the punches straight for us. Well, it be based. Because it would likely be the hook. That being a 10-8 round, it puts Charlo presumably to a knockdown. We believe many of those rounds went again. Make it hard for Canelo this round. And there haven't been too many of those guys. <laughs> Well, again, that's why I bring yeah. up the weight. It's unofficial scoring, of course, in a bigger hall. Trying to keep Charlie yeah, Wilson. Trying to Derek James Wilde would be a little oh, combination work as well. Speed. Charlie was perceived to take the risks. And I can see why, of course. So you have the speed. He felt it was important to be heavier. Man. Charlo single shots and falls to the ropes again. Canelo trying to frame him and measure him. He's a good fighter too, so just don't be overconfident. Don't neglect the defense. Let's go. Lead deep. He's showing toughness in taking these power bronze fights. Canelo is 15. A lot of combinations from Canelo. Just single shots, heavy shots, definitely. He's, he's not too far off the pace. Probably wouldn't impact this, but we don't know. <laughs> Body combination by Canelo. There. 15 in 12 round fights. That's pretty extraordinary. That's a lot of it certainly has had an impact on him. According to unofficial score, Steve Hardy is getting one. And one of those punches created a knockdown. Right hand as Charlo threw the left hook. Chopping Canelo. As Charlo ropes again, Gabriel comprehensively out fighting Charlo, but Charlo's right uppercut from Canelo. Canelo's in rounds and, uh, you know, Canelo. Canelo, again, not showing anything, yes. especially this late in the fight. A lot of people, you know, jab leading into it. 150 50 jabs did that. It hasn't stopped all the movement of Jim. So much now, Charlo's got to be careful. Fatigue being the 10th round, definitely great, great condition. 
you know, throwing some punches, but again, Canelo straight punches, what I've been saying, you know, for Charlo to throw, they don't have to be powerful. You know, he normally lands, I said, 46% of his power punches. He's driven. Jamel Charlo is 3 1 and 1. While Charlo 28 yep. of 232. A lot of movement from Charlo, but no punches. Losing the fight. What do you want to do? But then you gotta fight it. You gotta go get it, man. For his twin brother, this is it. Now or never. Three minutes left. Just trying to knock off Canelo Alvarez. Look at his resume. I mean, luminaries up and yeah. down. It's incredible. Just who beats the good little man. Although when we looked at this fight, we talked about Charlo having the same. Charlo trying to find a way. As I mentioned. This is his 24th yep. world championship score. Steve Fart gave Charlo round five, but Canelo's here, and just like every other round, it begins with that Canelo maybe has an opportunity to close the show. Maybe. Canelo Alvarez has never been stopped. He's kind of an exclamation mark about the way things have gone here. And he stopped for the impact on uh, Jamal Charles. Putting it all together. Now in the final 45 seconds. The yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not no, no, I know. I mean, there's glass of, of him trying, but again, it's yes. just Canelo. This is for a reason, a wise man yeah. once said. Yeah. He's on his way. Super middleweight championship. All three in favor of the winner. And still, the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Um, I'm proud of myself. Uh, he ain't knocked me out. He knocked all the other guys out. He hit me with some hard shots. I felt like I got mine off, but, you know.